use some trigonometric identities to figure out what the answer to this problem here is. We have the tangent of negative 75 degrees, and we want the exact values, no calculators. Okay, let's change this first by using the even odd identities. Tangent is an odd function, so this is the same as negative tangent of 75 degrees. That's my first stage. Second stage, 75 degrees is not a standard unit circle value, but it is equal to the sum of two unit circle values, the 30 and the 45. So I'm going to change this into a tangent of a 30 degree plus a 45 degree. Okay, now with those two numbers, I can now use my tangent, ang uh, tang tangent angle sum formula to get that this is the same as the negative of, in the numerator, we'll have a tangent of 30 degrees plus a tangent of 45 degrees over a 1 minus tangent of 30 degrees multiplied by tangent to 45 degrees. Okay, excellent. So now we just have to know some of our unit circles. So tangent 30 degrees, let's see, that's the sine over the cosine is the 1 over radical 3. Then 45 degrees is just 1, tangent of that is 1, sorry. On the bottom we have 1 minus Tangent of 30 is still 1 over radical 3, and tangent of 45 is still 1. So that's the first step that I would do here. And then in the numerator and the denominator, I'm going to multiply by radical 3 because this will simplify how it looks at the end. So I have a negative 1 plus rad 3 over one, let's see, what do we get down here? We get a rad 3 minus 1. And then I can put a negative sign out in front. We could do some extra simplification here if you felt like it. We could actually multiply by the uh, conjugate. Rad 3 plus 1. Rad 3 plus 1. I didn't realize I was going to have so much simplification here, so it wasn't very wise at budgeting my space. So I hope you're okay if I over here. In the numerator we have a perfect square here, 1 plus rad 3 squared. So I'm going to view that as a 1 plus a 3, which would be a 4, and then the outsides, the oys, the outside and the inside would be, uh, let's see, it would be a plus 2 rad 3. And then the bottom we'd have 3 minus 1 conveniently, right, because that's a difference of squares. And 3 minus 1 is just 2. And don't forget about the negative sign out in front. Oh yeah, so this is really worth it, right? Because now 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 2 rad 3 over 2 is just radical 3. So we do get a nice convenient answer there of negative 2 plus radical 3. Okay, sorry, that had a lot of work in it, <laughs> but still it, uh, it came out to be not too, not too bad. It has a radical, but not, not, not the most terrible number I've ever seen. So why don't you try one on your own here? Try the sine of 7 pi over 12. Assuming you paused the video and tried it out already, sine of 7 pi over 12 is the same as sine of 3 pi over 12 plus 4 pi over 12, right? Because that's what 7 is. And of course, that would be sine of pi over 4 plus pi over 3. And why did I change it into that? Is those are convenient numbers for our unit circle. Those are both in the unit circle. So using the sine sum formula, this would be a sine pi over 4, cosine pi over 3, plus cosine pi over 4, sine pi over 3. Great, so now, using the unit circle, sine of pi over 4 is rad 2 over 2, cosine of pi over 3 would be the rad 3 over 2. Oh no, it wouldn't, it would be the 1 half, because it's close, so let's get rid of that, sorry. That'd be 1 half half plus the cosine of pi over 4 which is rad 2 over 2 and then the sine of pi over 3 that's up high so that's the radical 3 over 2 so common denominator 2 times 2 is both going to be 4's on the bottom no sweat down there rad 2 times 1 is radical 2 and rad 2 times rad 3 is radical 6 so the final number we're expecting is rad 2 plus rad 6 over 